Hello, it's Renee, the Practical Shaman, coming to you for the solstice. I hope everyone is doing really great, whether you're in the north and it's the summer solstice, or if you're in the south celebrating the Inti Raimi, the returning of the sun. Oh, it's just a great, great time to be alive and be here with you all. As many of you know, I'm writing a book this year. And so I'm not doing a lot of lives or a lot of teaching, just the Shaman's Cave every other week with Sandra Ingerman. Still, I wanted to let the solstice, I didn't want to let the solstice come and go without a, a short message from the wind spirits. And I just am very excited to see what wind wants to come work with me for the summer solstice. And if I'm working with it, you're invited to work with it as well. I am going to be starting some little mini teachings coming soon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow the, the Practical Shaman over there, and I'll be doing some reels and some reels here. I'm still writing a lot, but I time to, to plant some of those new seeds that I'm growing. Most of you know the book, Winds of Spirit. If you don't, order your copy because you can flip it open to a wind in the back and get a reading and that's what i did today instead of pulling it out of the wind sack i'm pulling it from from the book itself okay so the wind that i opened to for the solstice is nilchi the navajo wind of intuition this wind can be conjured up for inspiration organization or ritual to provide strength when needed. Now think about it. We're at the solstice. And if you're in the southern hemispheres, you're at the winter solstice, when you've got seeds stored for the coming year. But if you're at the summer solstice, you want to organize your gardens, you want to organize your life, you want to go back through the last six months to see like, huh, what's been working, what isn't working. Is my garden, is my harvest going to be full this fall? Or have I not done the necessary legwork? Are there weeds overtaking the garden? You know, just take stock about what's going on. In fact, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to read a little bit about Nilchi. And it was actually uh, Nilchi in the South when I opened up the page from the book, The, Practic uh, the Winds of Spirit. And Nilchi arrives as a blue wind from the south, a cunning competitive wind. Your inner voice asks you to look beyond the surface of people, things, and events. They may not be with what they seem. Listen closely to your intuition. Do not question your gut reaction. If you have been deceived, study the clever trick closely, lest you be fooled again. A thief can only steal your horse when your back is turned. Call upon your inner winds to expand your awareness. Missed opportunities happen when a door opens and you fail to walk through due to fear. Fear is a counterwind. Ask Nilchi to remove any emotional blocks preventing you from moving forward. Which is exactly what I was thinking we will do today is we're gonna ride on Nilchi into the earth, into uh, the earth and see what roots of fear or disappointment or things that really need to be removed from your garden right now at this solstice time in order to in order to really fully fully have a full field a full and if you're going for a follow field because you're emptying out this year that's fine what what weeds are surfing up that need to be removed so that you can stay in that place of emptiness I invite you to get comfortable, to close your eyes, and on that first wind breath in, breathe in the wind of Nilchi and bring it into you. Let's see it as a blue wind coming in and holding it in your belly to bring you into the, the, lower, the lower world of your garden. And, and when you will hold that, 
and then we'll release all of the the weeds and all of the roots that are no longer serving us what we'll do is then call to Nilchi to let us see the truth about our gardens about what we need does it need fertilizing does it need water does it need tending does it need us to leave it alone and stop tugging on the shoots at night so that it can grow what does our garden need and then on that third wind breath we're going to make a transformation in our garden we're going to change something if it's if it needs a quick weeding let's see the wind blowing through there clearing out all of the debris so that the the shoots that are growing can be fruitful this fall so that they can bear fruit give you a multiple harvest and let's go from there all right so I invite you to breathe in slowly, but as we're breathing in, remember, we're taking ourselves down below the earth's surface into the lower belly of our garden. All right, breathe in. And explore that inner belly of your garden. Are there long roots? Are, is there decay? Is it full? Does it have all the nutrients that it needs? Look around and see what's in that. And let's let anything that's no longer serving us go into the, the center of the earth. Let it mulch all that's not serving your garden. Stay in the emptiness of that space. And on the next wind breath in, imagine you bringing in the energy to transform your garden by letting go of fear, letting go of doubt, letting go of anything that's not growing the goodness of your heart for, for, towards your harvest this summer or that you don't want to store if you're in the southern hemispheres. And give to Nilchi any deception, any fear, any sense of lack. Look around and see how different the garden feels. And look, are there still things that need to be weeded, still things that need to be tended to? And breathe in that blue wind of Nilchi all the way in. And as we exhale, we're going to blow out anything that doesn't need to be in our garden, and we're going to pollinate and germinate seeds that can multiply and grow. And on this third gust of wind, make sure that the garden's clear and free so that it can give you the harvest that you seek. And now thank your garden. Thank the garden for all the gifts all the gifts of the, the summer solstice, the winter solstice, and how we move through the cycles of nature together as a community. And bless that garden. Give that garden a kiss with the wind. Thank Nilchi. 
And remember, I'm Renee, the Practical Shaman. If you like the wind whistles, they're available over at thepracticalshaman.com. Order your copy of Winds of Spirit. It's now available on audio, read by Nathan Agin. And I look forward to sharing more with you over the coming months, in the coming years, about the wind and about practical shamanism. So, blessings. <laughs>